Hey, 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 this is Kurt Boat Doctor. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, out here, one of my favorite boats. I just had a 1440 uh, Frontier out. Got to make sure I say, or fish, or gaze, what the heck. I think it was a Frontier. I could be wrong. This is a 1550 Fisher. The other one was a uh, side console. So anyway, just got back. The was one hotter than heck, so I'm glad to be back. Sun's out a little bit here. It was raining, but uh, oh, it's nice to be back in where it's cool. Anyway, uh, 1550 Fisher on this. Uh, even that 14 I just ran, awesome boat. Uh, but you got your top, you got your sides, you got your backdrop, you got your uh, uh, window that flips up, wind curtain, you got your anchor pulpit, good there, good welds, got G3 tubing, you can see pressure bends, and if, like here, bend, bend, right there. So that reverse is what helps keep this thing stable. Now that arrow design you'll see that goes like this and like this that keeps that water going this way instead of coming in or in like this on your boat so it's really dry and that's that acts as an air cushion so these are i mean safe i mean you talk about almost virtually unsinkable you got foam in all the tubes you got the main hole underneath here you got chambered uh, three chambers in it um so i mean it's and they're very very stable it's, they're adding this on factory now for bow mounts Load guides, cup holders, rod holders, tackle holders, grab handles. What I would do is probably put some cleats right here or here. So you got something to hang your bumpers on because it's a long way from up there to here and there's not even a cleat up there. So I'd put some here or here uh, for your dock line or for your uh, um, bumpers. And you could actually even probably drop another one right here small one like a fender clip uh, because see you still got that open area that you're not protected galvanized trailer swing tongue spare tire carrier two inch ball you got cables that's good i like the cables uh, just keep an eye on if they start cracking you see rust room in there probably time to change them because them cables can break but they can rush from the inside out if you got if they, them cables crack uh flat pour on the trailer wires gear bath oil hubs uh, brown good, white bad. Uh, they're ST175 ADR13s. Uh, got the non skid. I really like this. You got your cushions, I think, are in here or up front. Uh, good seats. Got your tackle trays here. You got dual battery switch right there. You got your bait box sitting here. You got a fillet table, a ladder. And you got one, two, three, four. So those three should be dry. The top one just lets water off the main deck. You got your Garmin. I'm gonna set that up when I'm out there. Uh, you got a 70 horse inline four cylinder. Here's your oil drain. Here's your water pit tube, fresh water flush. Unscrew that, hook a garden hose. Start, uh, do not start the motor. Does that water going to it? Only use that if it's warm. You can uh, touch your motor, lukewarm. Water comes out here. When you have water, it's lukewarm. It's working. If it's cold, it's not doing you any good. Just use your earmuffs down below. And we'll see what is that, 13 by 15. That should be about right on the prop. Uh, belting looks good. Traveling down the road, I would take the canvas, maybe take the top down. You could leave the arch up and take them bows down. Gear bath oil, and here's how you fill them. Right there, through that top, that Ellen head. Half to three quarters fine. Uh, you just look at them, if they're like that, you're good to go. You don't have to take your old grease gun out. Horse down hose over here. You got your uh, ice tank cooler there. Fuel tank sitting right there. <clears throat> fuel fill here, vents here. They put a better vent system, it looks like, for the fuel. Latch for the top. Uh, motor stop right here. The motor, uh, you run out of juice, you can unscrew that and you can lift this up and then screw it down and put it on these stops. You got tag fuel management, build pump. And your bag's up there with everything on it. That's a battery operated light with SOS. So the next thing got wired for downriggers. We've got two of them, one here, one over there. So we're gonna take this to the WADA. Gotta hit the old oral surgeon here quick. So after that, I'll take her out. Kinda nice, navy, navy gray. Gotcha. All right, this is the boat doctor out.